WHO has just announced that TB has killed more people in 2014 than any other infectious disease due to a single pathogen, so more deaths than HIV AIDS, malaria. It's a global problem, so the most affected areas are countries like India, China, South Africa, the Sub-Saharan Africa region in general. And it's really even here in the U.S. we have about 9,000 cases a year, including some that are multi-drug resistant. So it's truly a global problem. So an effective TB vaccine would really be the ultimate game changer in bringing the TB epidemic under control. Most of Eris's clinical trials, in fact, are conducted in high burden settings. You have to be doing your trials where TB is a big problem. Otherwise, the numbers of people that would have to be involved in the trials would be so huge that it, they wouldn't be feasible. So we've actually done most of our clinical trials in South Africa, but also in other African countries. And we work very closely with the communities, with the clinicians there, the scientists, and of course, the independent ethics committees and the regulatory agencies to make those trials possible. Every aspect of what we do is really in partnership with others, and we're only able to do it because of bringing together uh, the expertise, the funding, um, and the enthusiasm and, and energy from people all over the world. South Africa's got the second highest TB incidence in the world, and this Worcester area that we're in now has one of the highest in South Africa, and it has been for decades, for centuries. Every household in this community is affected in some way by TB, whether it's one of the, house, the family members who's had TB, an employer or an employee, a friend. Somehow everybody knows about it, has been affected by TB, they know TB, and they're waiting for TB. They, it's this feeling of anticipation, when is TB coming to me? So the South African Tuberculosis Vaccine Initiative is a research group. We conduct clinical trials and immunology studies of TB vaccines. Uh, we test TB vaccines in large clinical trials in the Worcester community. So the most striking thing is that we see that when people take part in our clinical trials, they benefit from TB education, from early diagnosis, early treatment. And the result of that is that we see in the families of people taking part in our trials that there are fewer TB disease episodes and TB disease outcomes are milder than they otherwise would have been in the rest of the community. And that's a direct benefit from taking part in TB research that mirrors what the health system could be doing if it was functioning optimally. The community is vital for us to continue to do our work, to continue to conduct these TB vaccine trials. Without them, we can't, we can't do our work. Without people volunteering to take part, without the, the general community feeling positive about us and, and encouraging us in our work, um, not just the individual who volunteers, but also the, the broader community, the, the Department of Health, the Department of Education, the local municipality, all these people who are always so willing to help us, to join forces with us on projects. We need them to continue our work on TB vaccine trials. A vaccine to prevent tuberculosis disease or infection would be a huge public health breakthrough. It would just prevent a lot of misery across the globe. We do already have a vaccine for tuberculosis. It's called BCG. The fact is that most of the world is vaccinated with BCG. And despite this, um, we have this ongoing spread of TB. And so clearly, there's a need for another better vaccine. And so that's, that's what we're, we're trying to, to develop. It does take a long time to develop a vaccine in general. Typically, it takes 10 or more years to develop a vaccine, and TB will certainly not be any easier than that, despite the fact that it's gonna take a long time, right? If we don't start now, it means our children, our grandchildren, generations to come are still gonna be fighting this terrible disease that the world is suffering from now, right? Someone dies from TB every 21 seconds, right? 1.5 million lives were lost to TB last year. 9.6 million people got new disease 
from TB last year. Without a vaccine, we're never going to get this epidemic really under control and eliminate TB as a public health problem.